Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to be using ChatGPT to size up uh, an exhaust system. We're going to use a uh, Explorer with a uh, 3.5 liter twin turbo uh, EcoBoost engine in it. Um, I'm going to put a target horsepower uh, for future with all the future upgrades to 500 horsepower. Um, so let's get started. Um, so you'll see that I'm in. AI for car people and it's a project so before we start digging into this I want to show you a cool little trick here so AI for car people you can see that there's other searches that are inside um, inside this project so this project is geared towards automotive research since so ChatGPT is like nine football fields wide and nine football fields deep of uh, if you were to imagine an actual library um, it's good to focus artificial intelligence AI um, on what you want to do here so anyhow let's do this so let's create a new project so once you get your uh, chat GPT up and running uh, project name this will be our um, sample AI or well, let's just do this let's do exhaust um, sizing. Now, if you have your own vehicle, that's what I would do, is I would name it that. And if you had like a 82 IROC, 82 IROC Camaro, um, 350 engine, right? And then, create a project. Okay, so this is not part of the deal. What happens here is you can add files inside this project. Think of the project as a big folder and then instructions. So you can tell ChatGPT how, um, what this, what this folder is for, what this project is for. So here we go. So if I had an 82 IROC Camaro, I think I spelled that wrong. Oh, well. Um, so the instructions are going to be, here you go. I just, Hard for me to type and talk. So, based on a 1982 IROC Camaro with a 305 and T5, I'll be searching for upgrades to the suspension, engine swap ideas, brake upgrades, and let's do an 8.8 .8 Mustang differential swap. So, so Camaro rear ends are junk. Uh, boom, save. So now, ChatGPT has the context or guidance on what this project's about, and it'll help filter or focus the information um, that you'll get back. So, anyhow. That's what you should do with your vehicle. Name the upgrades and, and what you want to do and what you want researched. All right, so now we're back into AI for car people, my, my folder, my project. And what we're going to do is we're going to size up some exhaust, right? I already talked about the parameters. So I've done some work already, and then I asked ChatGPT to create a prompt so I could do the same analysis in another text or context window. That's a very powerful level up. Remember, if you've done a bunch of research and you like the results, ask ChatGPT to create a prompt so you can replicate the results, or at least the, the questions, um, in another context window. Because as those context windows gets big, it takes forever for results, and then it's a lot more prone to errors. You want to have uh, quite a few context windows that are more specific than less. Anyhow. Here we go. This is a new context window, and this is the prompt that ChatGPT has provided. Um, the prompt is giving ChatGPT a persona and a task. So you're an expert automotive engineer and fabricator specializing in performance exhaust systems. I want you to help me calculate and explain the ideal exhaust pipe diameter and muffler flow rating based on specific horsepower goal. Requirements for the project. Notice the colon and the little... Um, dashes here, puts it in a list, helps ChatGPT organize and keep pace. You also know in the asterisks, these are uh, call outs to ChatGPT that these things are important. Uh, provide the exhaust flow estimation in CFM, which is cubic feet per minute, based on horsepower. Cubic feet per minute, a couple good mufflers uh, shops will give you the CFM of their mufflers or calculated CFM. So we may as well all be talking the same language. So use the industry standard rule of thumb, CFM equals 1.5 times horsepower. 
I had no idea that that was the industry standard. We'll do a little research on that, make sure that's, that's accurate. Recommend exhaust pipe diameter in inches that supports the flow. Make suggestions specifically for turbocharged versus naturally aspirated. Why a certain diameter is better. Create a reference table. That's going to be good and helpful for us. Um, TIG welding custom exhausts. Uh, I was also asking questions about uh, TIG welding uh, titanium. I'm buying all the parts to do that, so I'm going to start TIG welding titanium in my garage. So that's where that kind of came in. Assume the user may want to exceed their horsepower goal. Of course we do. Um, clear, confident, educational tone. And here's an example. So ChatGPT also created an example of the questions it's going to receive, which will help guide the answers. I'm building a 3.5 liter turbocharged engine, goal of 500 horse. I want to design a custom TIG welded exhaust system. Need to select the right pipe diameter and muffler flow rating. What do you recommend and why? So let's just send it. So this was the prompt. I put it in a brand new context window. And so this is ChatGPT answering that prompt or that question or responding to that guidance. So here we go. Absolutely. Estimate exhaust flow. 1.5 times that. Let's, let's pause for a second. Where does this information come from? Um, if something seems a little hanky or weird uh, with an answer or guidance from ChatGPT, argue. Argue about it um, or, or ask about it. So here's a little table. This is nice. 250, 350, 500. Gives us the CFM and the exhaust size. But again, that's all based on the 1.5. So there's a bunch of stuff here. Let's just get out of here. Say, um, great work. How or cite your sources for the 1.5 horsepower uh, oh, sorry, CFM per horsepower. Please. Where does that originate? Smokey Eunuch, not going to argue with him. David Vizard, David, I'm not going to argue with him either. Great books, great books. Okay, looks like um, exhaust manufacturers textbooks. Okay, great. So let's use that. There's a couple sources that are good. So choosing the right prep pipe diameter. Um, this is, I think this is really good. 500 horse, 700 CFM, three inch NA or small turbo. Okay, that sounds good. So let's get a little bit more specific into the exhaust design and see if we can, we can learn something from that. So let's buzz down to the bottom and say, okay, Chad GPT, my exhaust will be three inch pipe back from each turbo, two turbos that travels 24 inches is dual exhaust. Then the exhaust will merge via two three inch inlets into a Y pipe into a single three inch outlet. I'll have a high flow three inch 2000 CFM catalytic converter and a three inch Walker Dynomax 2000 CFM muffler. Can you give me an overview on the flow and your opinion on the design taking max performance into account? So uh, let's see what comes you know, out of this with max performance into account. Because um, the analysis, I could ask ChatGPT for an analysis on taking fuel economy <laughs> into account or, um, I don't know, noise into account possibly. So anyhow, everything inside the prompt is important. Okay, so quick overview of the uh, project parameters 500 horse dual threes y pipe single three three inch cat three inch dynamax dual three inch pipes on the turbos are an excellent start our major bottleneck here we go combining two three inch pipes into a single here's the flow math two three inch is 1500 one pipe is 750 and so Chat GPT's analysis is you're choking the exhaust down after the Y pipe, which will build um, back pressure, yada, yada, yada. Okay, these components are not your bottleneck, the uh, catalytic converter and the muffler. So, important to know when people want to upgrade their exhaust, go with the highest choke point. Um, usually, the cats and the, the muffler. So, target those guys first, get the most dollar per horsepower. So suggested upgrades, three and a half inch pipe will run uh, 
900 to 1,000 CFM. Very good. All right, there's the design. Yada, yada, yada. Final thoughts. All right, hang tight. So here's a different idea. So I don't have room for three up three and a half inch exhaust, but there are plenty of oval exhaust options out there. So we could go three inch Y pipe into an oval, right? As long as that oval's big enough. So I don't have room for the three and a half inch exhaust, but there are other options out there. Name three locations I can buy oval exhaust that will support 500 horse or more. Don't be afraid to suggest larger pipes. And if oval is found, the tallness of the pipe should not exceed 2.5 inches, but go as wide as you need to. So let's see what we get. Boom. Beautiful. Top three sources. Vibrant, Burns, and Spintech, which is awesome because Summit Racing carries um, both Spintech and Vibrant. And they're always my first place I go shopping. Customer service is killer. Um... Quick oval pipe comparison guide, beautiful. So a 2.5 by 4.5 will give me 750 estimated CFM. A 3 by 5 is 900, 3.5 by 6. All right, cool. So I'll target 2.5 by 4.5 or 3 by 5. Okay, so this is a quick analysis or a quick video on how to use ChatGPT to to give you some uh, guidance or information that's a heck of a lot better than a chat room and all the children that are doing their fantasy builds and pr pretending to be experts, um, at least ChatGPT is, is, is trying to help. All right, so um, love that. Now, I did already buy 3-inch and then a 3-inch Y pipe I've got to build because um, I just... Uh, yeah, I figured I'd just put it all together and see what happens. So you will see that build. I will do the exhaust build on my channel um, on Carswell's Custom. So look for that coming out. I'll weld that all up. Um, yeah, so so then we'll finish out with a, a little prompt here. You never know. You don't know what you don't know. And so sometimes ChatGPT can make an, a suggestion that you just haven't thought of. And this is a really powerful prompt. I use this all the time. Great work, ChatGBT. I better make that correct. Um, what else can you help me figure out that improves performance in my ride that I'm not asking? What have I not thought of? Make suggestions for upgrades that pertain to a performance to performance vehicles that are newer than 2015. Cool. So here's 10 things that I wasn't thinking of. Well, not all of them. I thought of a couple, but... Thermal management, the uh, turbo blankets, didn't think of that. Water meth, love water meth, already used it, works good. Uh, advanced boost control, uh, with upgraded waste gates, okay, cool. Dual wideband oxygen sensor, lightweight drivetrain options, absolutely. Front mount intercooler, data logging hub, that's cool. Fuel pressure control with sensor feedback. Sensor feedback would be good. Um, wiring upgrades. I didn't think of that. Exotic materials like titanium exhaust. Yeah, let's let's think that one through. That would be good. So anyway, great. Hope this helped out. Got any questions or got any crazy ideas? You know, shoot them to me in the uh, in the in the chat, and then we'll yeah we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. See ya.